Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this time we are going to do a how to do video on how to downgrade MIA1 from Android 8 Oreo to Nougat. Now I was not doing this video before because there are uh, a, a lot of videos available online. Uh, even XDA forum has already done that. Uh, there are a few videos that I've seen where they show how to do it. Uh, but I did not try to do it till now because I was testing the device with Oreo. Uh, now I'm getting a lot of problems with the uh, Oreo and I wanted to go back uh, to Nogget. And then I tried a few videos, tried a few steps and then it did not work for me. So uh, that's when I realized, um, then I went through all the forums, I went through all the errors that people were getting. Uh, so this video is being made for all those people who are getting the errors. Uh, there are two major errors that you will face. One is the software crashing, it does not work, the flash tool will uh, crash every time you try to op uh, try to flash, as soon as you hit flash, uh, it will crash and it will uh, try to send an error message to Microsoft. Uh, second one is while it's trying to flash, uh, it will give you a, a message saying cannot find a certain file. So even though when you go into the directory and you see that the file is right there, but the software cannot find it. So these are the two major problems that people will face. So the solution is there in this video. I'll show you how to do that. So let's start. Uh, first of all, you need to go to the website. Now this is the website where you have to get the flash tool from. So uh, XDA forum already has a uh, a solution over here where it shows you all the um, I mean they have three uh, stock rooms available and they have the flash tool so this flash tool did not work for me it keep uh, keep uh, it keeps crashing um, it gives me the error message so uh, to fix this I downloaded it directly from the uh, Xiaomi uh, flash tool dot com uh, website I don't think this is an official website it's uh, it's someone else's but the tool over here worked for me Okay, so this is the one that you have to download, the first one which has the new tag on it, uh, 2017 April uh, 25th, 25th April 2017, uh, that's the uh, uh, version that you have to download. Download this and then download one of the ROMs. I downloaded the last one, uh, the 1410 2017 version. So these are the two files that you will need. So I'll have the links below so that you can download these two files. Now. Uh, this is where the files are so you, it'll come in zipped format so you'll have to unzip both of them so it's not like the Samsung files where you keep them zipped and then use it this has to be unzipped so uh, the flash tool looks like this you just install it and then this is the image file okay so now go ahead and install the flash tool now I've already installed it this is how it will look like now uh, this version will work fine there won't be any problems with this version uh, it will not crash it works fine on windows 10 so uh, once you open it up there's one more thing that you have to do which is uh, you'll have to copy this folder where everything is in this folder copy it now we'll have to paste it where the tool is actually placed okay so I'll right click on the flash tool exe this is a shortcut uh, hit properties and then I'll find the actual location where it's uh, placed now this is the easy way you can actually browse through and go in but uh, uh, this is the easy way that I'm showing you so copy this copy and then uh, hit windows R windows key and the R key that'll bring the run window and then just control V con paste it and then open it up. So this is the folder where all the files are kept. Now go one folder back and then paste it over here. So as you see, I have already pasted it over here. Now this is the solution for file not found. So uh, when you are trying to install the ROM in between, it says that it cannot find the file. So uh, once you do this, the flash tool is able to find all the files and it works fine and it flashes the uh, entire ROM onto the phone. Now once this is done, you're ready to go. Just open up the tool. Now put your phone into fast boot mode. To put it in fast boot mode, first of all make sure your phone is off. Uh, once it's off, uh, switch it back on by keeping the power button and the volume down button pressed together. Keep it pressed for 4 seconds, you will find a fast boot logo on top. 
uh, with an android lying there and uh, a rabbit trying to fix him so that's the fast boot uh, screen that you'll have uh, just take the usb cable plug it into the phone and then hit refresh over here so once you hit refresh you will see your phone over here okay so let's select the file now you'll have to go in to c drive okay and over here we've selected the file that we pasted the folder that we pasted hit ok and that's it now all you need to do is hit flash so as soon as you hit flash it'll start off i'll not flash my phone again i've already installed a lot of softwares uh, so all you need to do is hit flash and it will flash the entire ROM. So it's that easy. It's just that you need to have the right file. So uh, that's it. Um, now if you have any problems, you face any problems, do comment below and uh, I'll help you out with that too. Uh, thanks to XDA forum and a lot of other people who have uh, worked hard on getting a solution for this. Uh, I have just made another video where it's uh, it's a solution for me because it did not work. Uh, all the solutions that I found online did not work for me. So uh, hopefully this is helpful for everyone. And uh, that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe with the like button and do comment. And I'll see you again with another video. Bye-bye.